Elon Musk's soft landing in India. Starlink ushers a new era of internet revolution. It was a quiet morning when the world received groundbreaking news. Elon Musk's Starlink had officially landed in India. No flashy ads, no grand launch events, but a step so powerful that it could redefine the digital future of the nation forever. Yes, the Indian Ministry of Telecommunications has granted Starlink GMPCS, Global Mobile Personal Communication by Satellite, service license. This means Elon Musk's ambitious satellite internet project is now legally authorized to operate in India. And this development has sparked new hope across the country's technology landscape. Today, we dive deep into this story and its impact. But before that, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an update. Let's begin today's discussion without further delay. Starlink has now become the third company in India to receive satellite internet service license. Before this, Reliance Geo's Geo Satellite Communications and Bharti Airtel's OneWeb were already on this list. But Starlink's entry is especially significant because it's not just another internet service, it represents a new philosophy in telecommunications. It is technology designed to reach places where there is neither mobile network nor fiber optic connectivity. On this occasion, Union Civil Aviation Minister Jyoti Raditya Sindhya stated, Starlink's satellite service is joining India's telecom system like a new bloom. His statement is not merely a compliment but reflects a deeper truth. Even today, there are millions of villages in India where mobile towers cannot be installed due to technical or geographical limitations. And in such areas, satellite-based services like Starlink can bring a true digital revolution. Starlink is a key venture by Elon Musk's company, SpaceX. This satellite internet service operates through thousands of satellites in low Earth orbit, LEO, positioned around 500 to 550 kilometers above Earth. Unlike traditional mobile networks, this system is independent of towers or fiber cables. That's why this service can deliver internet even to remote regions that are still disconnected from the digital world. Starlink's story in India didn't begin today. The company had actually started pre-bookings in India as early as 2021 and lakhs of people enthusiastically registered. However, due to a lack of government approval at the time, the company was forced to halt its services. Now. Two years later, with the GMPCS license secured, Starlink is once again preparing to expand its network in India. This marks not just a technological comeback, but also serves as a testament to the public's trust in the brand. In India, Starlink will now face direct competition from Reliance Geo and Airtel's OneWeb. What's interesting is that while competition is visible, picture of collaboration is also emerging. Recently, Starlink has entered into hardware distribution partnerships with both companies. In other words, they are both competing and collaborating. This clearly indicates that the future of India's satellite internet ecosystem won't be defined by conflict alone, it will also be about working together. However, getting the license is only the beginning. The real challenge lies ahead when it comes to spectrum allotment. The Indian government has yet to decide whether the spectrum will be allocated through an auction process or via administrative allocation. While Geo and Airtel support an auction-based approach, Starlink is in favor of administrative allocation so that services can roll out faster. This conflict will shape the future, determining whether the technology will be deployed swiftly or become entangled in regulatory hurdles. The biggest advantage of satellite internet will be for those regions where digital services are still out of reach. Especially in India's rural, hilly and tribal areas, where children lack access to online education, farmers are disconnected from digital banking and people are deprived of basic healthcare services. Platforms like Starlink promise to become digital bridge in such regions, 
offering internet that reaches directly from the sky into people's lives without wires or towers. But every convenience comes at a cost. And this is the aspect that has raised concerns among many experts. Starlink's kits and service plans are significantly more expensive than traditional broadband services. The cost of the device and monthly subscription could be a major challenge for the average Indian consumer. For instance, in Bangladesh, where the service was recently launched, users have to pay nearly 3,000 rupees per month along with a one-time device cost of around 30,000 rupees. In a country like India, where making digital services affordable and accessible is a top government priority, Questions about the feasibility of such model are natural. Nevertheless, the government is actively working in this direction. The Department of Telecommunications has initiated the process of granting trial spectrum to Starlink. Following this, the company will need to comply with security-related formalities. In addition, it must secure approval from InSpace the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center, a process that is currently underway. This means that the administrative process is now progressing rapidly and Starlink could soon be ready to launch its services in India. TRAI has also sent its recommendations to the government. TRAI suggests that satellite service providers should be charged a 4% AGR, Adjusted Gross Revenue, fee, and that spectrum allocation should be done through administrative means rather than auctions. This recommendation could help companies like Starlink launch more quickly and efficiently in India's digital expansion. If this model proves successful, it may attract more satellite companies to enter the Indian market in the future. The next chapter of India's digital revolution is now taking off from the skies. Where once the focus was on Char G and Panch G, the possibilities of satellite internet are now rapidly gaining momentum. This will not only expand internet access but also help bring the vision of digital India to life. Elon Musk's move into India represents a convergence of technology, business, and trust. And if India makes the most of this opportunity, in the coming years we won't just be talking about data speeds but about building an inclusive digital society where every citizen, whether in a city or a village, is digitally empowered. That is the true flight of Elon Musk's Starlink's soft landing in India. This video has taught you something new. Do not forget to like and share this video so that this information can reach others as well. Your likes and shares are a source of inspiration for us. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know in the comments. It will be our honor to answer your questions and listen to suggestion. And yes, if you like our content, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you stay connected with every new story. Thank you. GRT Business YouTube channel sources, news from various news agencies, opinion polls and other public sources. We try to ensure that every report and summary is accurate and verified, but we are not responsible for any dispute or error. Our aim is only to provide you with accurate information.